Good evening. Uh, today is Tuesday, February 21st, 2023. It's now 6.45 and we're going to bring the Appointments Committee meeting to order. So uh, the meeting will be open to the public. Persons wishing to participate remotely in the public forum portion of the meeting may request a remote attendance meeting link by contacting the city clerk. Uh, we have not gotten any, but uh, from my information, we have a public, uh, we do have a, uh, a public um, forum uh, wishing to be heard. So I'm opening it up for the public forum, no longer than two minutes, please. Jacqueline Wetchie, Fitchburg resident, speaking on Jacqueline Lassard. No one can sit on the school committee who is also an employee of the Fitchburg Public Schools. Similarly, I feel that someone who is a city employee should not sit on the Board of Health because it is a conflict of interest. Will the nominee have the independence and strength to stand up to her boss, Superintendent Jokola, if he again asks the board to impose mandates on students and employees of the schools? Or will she worry that this could impact her employment? This is dangerous ethical ground to tread on. I am also concerned about her views, given that on her resume she lists enforcing government mandates as if it is an accomplishment. A mandate is the government forcing someone to do something they don't want to. This is contrary to the values of our country. In the Declaration of Independence, Thomas Jefferson wrote that we are endowed by our Creator with inalienable rights. The government does not give us rights and it cannot take them away. They are innate. He also wrote that governments are established to safeguard our rights, not to take them away. And borrowing from the Iroquois, because none of the so-called civilized countries had this concept at the time, he wrote the governments derive their just powers from the consent of the governed. Yet the Fitchburg Board of Health has ignored this and ruled by decree rather than consensus. These are important issues, and yet the nominee has refused to respond to me on questions of health policy. Public officials should be accessible, responsive, and transparent. Lassard is none of these things and should not be appointed. Okay, anybody else for public comment? All right, I will close public comment. And I will open up uh, for the Appointments Committee. Uh, the new appointment to the Board of Health, term to expire February 6th of 2026, Jacqueline Lassard uh, got recent communication from the mayor that she has withdrawn, that he has withdrawn uh, the appointment. Move uh, to withdraw the appointment from the agenda. Okay. Uh, we have a motion. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. She is withdrawn. Uh, we have uh, three new appointments, um, uh, permanent full-time firefighters for the city of Fitchburg, uh, Ryan M., and I'm sorry if I'm going to murder your name, uh, Preville, thank you, uh, Patrick Swenson, and Seth Viles. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you, gentlemen. Uh, thank you, Chief, Councils. go right ahead. Uh, and thank you for the opportunity to present the top three candidates uh, for the three vacant firefighters position that I hope with your blessing tonight that we will fill. Uh, the first is Ryan Preville. He is a Fitchburg resident. Uh, he is certified uh, call of all firefighter one and two. He will be replacing Greg Normandin that retired earlier this year in January. Uh, this is Ryan's second time going through this uh, hiring process, so it shows his strong wish to be a Fitchburg firefighter. Uh, Brian, uh, Ryan brings with him some fire and EMS experience from working in Ashburnham in Princeton Fire uh, okay. as a call firefighter. Uh, the next is Patrick Swenson. Uh, Patrick will be replacing firefighter Randy Doughty, who also retired in January of this year. Patrick is a Fitchburg resident, and he'll actually be leaving the Gardner Fire Department to come into Fitchburg. Uh, with him, he brings one and a half years of firefighting and EMS experience. He's a graduate from the Mass Fire Academy recruit program, um, and he's a licensed EMT. Uh, this is Patrick's third time going through this hiring process, also showing his persistence to be a Fitchburg firefighter. And our third candidate is Seth Viles. Seth will be replacing Mike Torres, who retired this month. Uh, Seth is a Gardner resident, but is currently looking to reside in Fitchburg. Um, he's a licensed EMT, has EMS experience working for MedStar Ambulance. Um, he's also gained a lot of um, experience working with the public as a police officer in Falmouth, which will be very useful as a Fitchburg firefighter. All three candidates are licensed DMTs. Uh, they passed their background medical and physical evaluations. And these three candidates will bring our staffing up to 80, um, as we still have one opening that needs to be filled. 
Uh, once again, I thank you all for your time, and I'd be more than happy to answer any questions you might have. Councilor Squalia. Chief, you mentioned that a few of your candidates have gone through this process more than once. What does going through the process entail? Uh, well, first of all, taking the exam, uh, then there's an interview process, and then there's all kinds of background stuff that they have to go through, such as their Corey check background, their license, um, that sort of thing, and um, obviously calling um, to their employment. So are these candidates at the, the top of the list? Uh, yep, um, the, these are the, the three top candidates. Three top candidates. Fantastic. Well, thank Doesn't you. get any better than this. Thank Council. you all very much for serving the city of Fitchburg. Motion to approve the appointment. Second. Second. There are a motion and multiple seconds. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Well, congratulations, gentlemen. I look forward to seeing you on, the, on the, the fire department. And you got some big shoes to fill, but I'm pretty sure you guys can do it. You know, and uh, please stay, stay safe out there. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you, Chief. Thank you. All right, and the last appointment is uh, a new appointment for the assistant city clerk, term to expire February 21st, 2026, Elizabeth McNiff. No, that's fine. Uh, you might want to. You might want to get a microphone though. The microphone. That, that one doesn't have that. I just thought you'd see me better. Our microphones here. So. Yeah, you can sit. You can sit at this table. table. That's fine. I see what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Good evening, my fellow city councilors. I would like to introduce you to Ms. Elizabeth Betsy McNiff and request your confirmation of her appointment as Assistant City Clerk in Training through February 1st, 2023. Then Ms. McNiff will become the official Assistant City Clerk as of February 22nd, 2023, with the three-year term to expire February 22nd, 2026. Ms. McNiff was selected by the selection committee consisting of the Human Resource Director, Susan Davis, and myself. After narrowing down the field from 85 candidates to interviewing eight candidates, we were very impressed with Ms. McNiff's previous work experience. She started at an entry level and worked and grew her career to manage the day-to-day -day operations, collaboratively working with staff, customers, and vendors. These roles have conditioned Ms. McNiff in a professional relationship, high level, attention to detail, multitasking, and customer service. She is very energetic, confident in her abilities to undertake this new position with the city of Fitchburg, and I'm very excited to have her on our team. We believe Betsy's experience and practice talents in payroll, invoice budgeting, organizational skills, and corresponding writing makes her well-suited to be working in fast-paced, customer-focused, community-serving department in City Hall. Ms. McNiff holds a Bachelor of Science Business Management degree with Fitchburg State University. I thank you for your time and consideration in welcoming Ms. McNiff to the city of Fitchburg. Um, Councilor Squalia. Thank you. Uh, Betsy? Yes. Hi. Uh, where, where do you live, Betsy? I live in Lemonster. Lemonster. Close enough. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. All right. Uh, thank you. That's all. Move to approve the appointment. Okay, we have a motion? Second. And a second. All right. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Congratulations, Betsy. Looking Thank forward you. to working with you. Thank you. Move motion to adjourn. All right. We have a motion uh, to adjourn and a second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. We stand adjourned. Thank you.